Red light going on. The Acalda is in the gates. They're set. 1,000 the journey. Gate spring racing, the Kong Den missed it by two or three. Now Dear Calder is going to be back there second last as they hit the ground. And Copper Fury, the first to break over Milady, just a fluke with Arafura settling down there, running fourth. A length and a half to Dear Calder, given time to find its feet early. And two lengths behind them, having to be ridden along, is the roughy Mekong Ding at the 600 mark. And down on the inside, it's Copper Fury that holds the front. Three quarters clear from just a fluke. Arafura in the box seat coming to the corner from Milady. A length and a half to the odds-on favourite, Dia Calder, about four from the leader. And back behind them is Mi Kong Den. Into the home straight now, Copper Fury led. About a length and a half in front, just a fluke. The run comes along the cutaway for Arafura. Here comes Dia Calder, starting to wind up now down the middle of the track. It's extending brilliantly. And at the 100-metre mark, it's Dia Calder sprinting straight over the top of them. It burst to the front, Dia Calder, and is pulling away with a brilliant win. Dia Calder by two and a half lengths to Copper Fury and Arafura then just a fluke followed by Milady and Mi Kong Den was always trailing them back there at the tail super confident ride there by Chris Parnham on the favourite dear Calder once the sizzling filly got into the home straight it took a couple of big bounds and the race was over destroyed them there fine victory her second from three this preparation and three out of five overall wins by almost three lengths on Copper Fury. Ara Fura in third placing. Fourth will be just a fluke. A sizzling filly from Kezabel, a daughter of Zabil, for Ray and Ryan Meadowcroft, BJ Meadowcroft, Jason Caroni, Chris Chalwell, A. Van der Wielen, H. Van der Wielen, prepared by Simon Miller and handled by Chris Parnham. Second to five, Copper Fury by Equiano from Uptown Lass, trained by Jimmy Grieve and ridden by Jade McNaught. And Arafura, number one third, by looking at Lucky from Hialeah star Adam Ferry and Alan Kennedy. Other details to come in just a few moments. Out to Britt Taylor, too, very shortly after that effortless win by Dia Kelder. That was nothing more than an exercise training gallop. The third event, the Amelia Park Lamb Handicap at 2.43. Number one's out. I am Spartacus with a field of eight to run in the next on the program. We'll have margins coming up. Two and three quarters by a long neck and the time a pretty sharp 57.84. Chris Parnham had no hesitations going back there, just camping the fave out there second from last. And it was patience personified, knew what he had underneath him, and the filly did the rest. Let's see what he has to think about this daughter of sizzling as Chris joins Britt Taylor. Thanks very much, Darren. Chris, Darren just described her as, well, I guess, automatic in her win just then. Is that exactly how it felt? Yeah, pretty much. Um, the others sort of jumped a little bit quicker than her, as I expected, uh, with a heap of speed in the race. And um, I was just quite happy to let the speed go and... Um, let her blend into the race when, when she was ready to. And um, that's exactly what I did, and she was too good. You were nice and patient there, but she had plenty of room around her. Did that help in just the way that she settled in running? Yeah, possibly. I mean, a, and a very fast tempo up front, um, I think, also helped. Um, but, yeah, the, the main thing was with her is I just wanted to keep her momentum flying and um, didn't want to sort of stop start on her. So... Um, it, um, I was happy it worked out that way. She put them away easily, but even through the line and as you were pulling up, she just seemed to have so much strength about it. Yeah, she did. Um, she ran through the line really well. She was coming back from 1,200 and, you know, she probably had that a bit more of a fitness over being over that distance to start before and um, yeah, the way she ran through the line. Just then, you'd think she'd get 1,200 on a year. You would imagine so. Best ride for the rest of the day? Um, look, Touch of Silver is a good chance in the Diggers' Cup. Uh, I'm looking forward to him uh, and over there's in the next race if she can go back to her best form she should be thereabouts. All right looking forward to the rest of the day and congratulations on this win. Thank you very much. Dear Calder far too strong in the second of those famous Meadowcroft colours and Simon that was a good performance by a very good filly. She's a very good filly. Her records uh, she's starting to build up a pretty imposing CV and um, she won pretty well two starts go over a thousand and I always alluded to the fact that uh, 1200 would be more to her like image. She just never travelled in that 1200 for some unknown reason the other day. So whether she had a bit of an off day, freshened her up, brought her back to this, and she was chewing the steel. So you knew she had them covered on straightening. And I just heard Chris say that uh, she'll get 1200 
on her ear, so it's pleasing to see, and, and it gives the indication she will. So we'll have a look around and so, see what's uh, on the horizon, but if there's a 1,200, we'll probably roll back in. You've been patient with this filly. Any reasons behind that? Because when you look at her in the yard, she's got that imposing um, uh, look about her. Chase Caroni just doesn't like to race two-year-olds, so I had to um, just wait until she turned three. And, and Does it get frustrating as a trainer? Oh, it does, especially um, those type of owners when you've got a Ferrari sitting there. But anyhow, hopefully we can get a little bit of West speed before it finishes. OK, how many more runs this preparation? Heaps. <laughs> well done. Uh, no, nah, seriously, she hurt herself as a, after, after the Yearland sales. And uh, I had to give her 12 months off. She put a leg through a fence. Well done. Jason. Not well done that she did that, but it's great to see you back at the races and winning. But Jason's still hard work. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. There we go. Simon Miller, the trainer of De Calder, wins the second with a really good filly, Chris Parnham. That's his first win of the day, and he was well in contention with the jockey's challenge, and he goes straight to the top now on four points. OK, we'll be back before the third here on Sky International. It's a pleasure to have your company. And such a wonderful